So now what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at Easy Drummer 2 in Studio 1 4, and we're going to have a look at rendering down those mini tracks uh, from the separate outputs that we had done in Easy Drummer 2 in the last video. We're going to render that down into audio tracks so that you can actually start to manipulate the audio instead of working with the MIDI. And the biggest reason for doing this is that it's going to make things flow a little bit better on your computer. It's going to use way less resources than uh, keeping the instrument track open and running the MIDI all the time. Uh, when you render that down, you take that instrument out of the processes and you'll be able to use way more plugins and tracks and things like that in your session because you'll be minimizing the CPU usage uh, and the RAM usage especially. So uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to have a look at and uh, we're just going to pull this up here and continue on from there. Let's grab a quick tune. I've got the Atom set up here. Okay, so what we can do now is we can start to use the tap to find function with our Atom and we'll just come up with a quick beat and then we'll see what's available to us, drag it in and then we'll dump it into our track and then transform that into audio. Okay, so I'll use the tap to find here and we'll see if we can get that working. I'll put on my headphones here. All right. And Let's see what we got. Show results. Okay, so now Easy Drummer 2 is really awesome when you start getting some of the mini packs and petting those in, putting those in here. Petting those in here. Pet. Pet. I don't even have a pet. Okay, and you can grab those by you know, where they are. Um, you can grab them if our hi-hat, a standard, beat, straight, swing, blues, jazz, metal, rock, whatever you want to do. Grab the pre. Okay, you just grab these and just drop them right in the window. Easy. Easy drummer. Ooh. Sounds good to me. Let's do a quick little. Let's see what we're we gonna do here. We're gonna do a quick little tap to find for an intro. What am I doing? Quick. Clear. There we go. I don't know. Let's see what that comes up with. We should get some intros or some fills, I suppose. Okay. We'll just narrow that down. There's our MIDI track. Now, what you want to do is what you can is um, if you're going to play this back. Okay, we've got volume coming out of here like crazy. The reason why is because we still have Easy Drummer playing the drums back in our MIDI area here, and to on top of the MIDI that we just dumped into the DAW. So what you need to do is tell Easy Drummer to not follow the host anymore, okay? So when you hit play in the DAW, okay, it's not gonna play from this area. It's gonna show the drums playing still, but it's not gonna play here.
Okay, so now that we got that going on, we can get rid of the instrument here. Here it is, right click on the track, and it says transform to audio track. Okay, we'll click on that. Do we want to render all channels? Yes, we do, because we have six different channels. Do we want to render the inserts? Yes, because we did actually use the mix tool to increase our hi-hats, so we'll, we'll render that this time. Preserve instrument track slate, okay, in case we need to retransform this back to instrument. I usually like to do that. Gives you a way out if you really screw something up. And then uh, what we can also do here is remove the instrument afterwards. Okay, so this is what happened. So we've got What we've got now is it actually changed everything into an actual audio track for us. It put it all in stereo. That's fine. Okay. So we've got everything showing here now. I'll just minimize that. We got rid of our inserts because it rendered the inserts for us. Okay. I'm just going to increase the size of the track. And then I'll increase the size of the waveform. That's just this little area here. There we go. Okay, so we got all of our drums now. Hit play. There you go. Uh, we're going to look at other ways that you can use the Easy Drummer 2 in a DAW as well, and other kits, um, different ways that you can use the effects built in, a uh, little more of the find, uh, tap to find function, and laying out different ways that you can program the MIDI track within um, Easy Drummer 2 before you actually uh, put that into your tracks in the DAW. So, anyway, we'll look at doing that soon enough. Thanks for watching today. Uh, thanks for subscribing. And if you're not subscribed, uh, just click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell. And you'll be notified anytime we load any of these things up. So again, thank you very much for watching and uh, stay tuned and keep making music. Petting those in, putting those in here. Petting those in here. Pet.